A great flood once swept through a major city, killing many and causing millions worth of damage. But unlike other floods, this was not a flood of water. It was whiskey. Good quality, well-aged, thick, creamy whiskey. It's a well-known stereotype that the Irish like a drink, and there are so many jokes that could be made about that, but they've all been done too many times, so I have no choice but to be serious right now. By the mid-1800s, Irish whiskey was a big business. More than a thousand distilleries operated in Ireland, brewing and storing massive quantities. But before it can be sold, whiskey must first be aged in barrels. The epicenter of the business was Dublin, where the five biggest distilleries were based. Among them was Malone's Bonded Storehouse, which primarily stored whiskey, hence the otherwise pointless name. 5,000 large barrels of whiskey were held there at the time, which in today's money is worth more than 6 million US dollars. In a time when most people lived in abject poverty, that was a lot of money. So if anything were to happen to all that whiskey, it would be a disaster. In 1875, a disaster struck. The crisis began with a fire, a large blaze that spread through the storehouse in the afternoon of June 18th. For several hours, it raged without anyone noticing. By evening, it had gotten so hot the barrels began to explode. As whiskey is flammable, this only made the fire worse, causing more barrel explosions. Compounding this even further, the whiskey was undiluted, meaning it burns much quicker than bottled whiskey. So even when the fire was noticed, nothing could be done to stop it. The tragedy had been set in motion. The amount of whiskey now released was too much for the warehouse to hold, spilling out onto the streets of Dublin. Onlookers were horrified by what they saw, a flood of flaming alcohol racing towards them. Those too close to run were entirely consumed by the flood. It was chaos which is normal for Dublin. But even with that taken into consideration, it was an insane situation. Locals were panicking, running in all directions while humans and horses were killed by the whiskey. It was almost like a volcano had erupted in the middle of the city. As one of the more poor areas of Dublin, many animals were in the street, especially chickens and pigs, and it was not their lucky day. Firefighters soon arrived, but it's hard to put out a fire that's moving. Everything they did failed. Then finally they decided to contain the fire by building a dam-like structure. The building material they used was horse manure, and amazingly it worked, halting the whiskey. This meant the fire could eventually be put out. But by that time, a ridiculous amount of damage had been done. It remains one of the great tragedies in Irish history, not because people died, but because so much whiskey went to waste. If you don't believe me, what happened next will prove it. People ran out into the street to drink some of the now cool whiskey, scooping it up into their shoes and hats. But since the whiskey was undiluted, 24 of them got alcohol poisoning. In total, 13 died. Amazingly, this was not the only whiskey flood in history. In 1906, another one happened in Glasgow. In this case, there was no fire. Instead, a large industrial vat collapsed, releasing 50,000 gallons of whiskey. Flowing from the top floor of the distillery, it gushed onto the street and swept up passers-by. It was so much whiskey, one man had his clothes swept away. Since there was no fire, it was a much more simple rescue operation. Less people tried to drink for booze after, and only one person died. But the distillery died with them, going out of business just one year later. A more modern example is the Pepsi flood of 2017. When a Pepsi warehouse collapsed in Russia, 28 million litres of fruit juice flooded out into the streets. Luckily, nobody died, and Pepsi paid for all the damages. But for a while after, the roads were drenched in juice, which you can see in this footage. And look how Russian those cars are. 